Hey everybody, it's Mike at Plackey Physical Therapy Incorporated. Happy New Year to everybody. I just wanted to uh, reach out and say uh, hi and uh, hope everybody's doing well and, and staying uh, well and everything. And I uh, wanted to tell you what I'm up to uh, the next few years here, Plackey Physical Therapy, in terms of uh, as a clinician, you know. Um, I am continuing my study of this fascinating field called visceral manipulation, which is a mouthful. Um, but we can also call it organ-specific fascial release. Okay, so if we know what fascia is, <clears throat> uh, in a nutshell, and to simplify it quite a bit, it's this connective tissue stuff that's everywhere in your body that holds everything together and envelops every structure in your body down to the cellular level and uh, basically literally holds us together. So if we have tightnesses in the fascia that surround the muscle, that's going to limit how well that muscle moves, whether it's your hamstrings or your, or your upper trapezius that doesn't let your neck move very far because that, that fascia around the muscle is tight, we call it myofascia. Um, that same fascial structure can get tight around organs, whether it's in your abdominal area or rib cage, uh, or even in your head, in your cranium, uh, skull, okay? So if those structures, uh, the fascia surrounding those structures gets tight, that will lim <clears throat> limit how well those organs move. Now, I know I've used this uh, analogy or this uh, example in the past. The liver is a huge organ and it's filled with blood and it's very heavy. So the liver, when it doesn't move very well, has a big influence over how well your body moves in general. I always use my fist as, a, as to show the liver and I show my fingers as the rib cage because the liver sits right behind the rib cage, mostly on the right side here. And when I lean back, the liver better go with me. Okay, if I lean forward, the liver better go with me. If I rotate right, Liver's got to move, if I rotate left, liver's got to move, okay? If that liver doesn't move well, that's going to put a drag on my system and cause a compensation somewhere. If I raise my arm up, on the right side especially, the liver better come up a little bit to not anchor my arm down like this. So sometimes we see right shoulder and neck problems associated with liver because it just pulls you forward. You can't sit up straight or stand up straight because of it. Now this is just one example of, of so many that uh, this field allows us to explore and get results that maybe you haven't had um, because no one's looked at, at these areas. Now we, you know, like I said, there's a lot of different examples that we could look at with that. But uh, we're looking at releasing the fascia associated with organs, not necessarily for any other reason other than improving mobility in the body in general. Uh, nerve mobilization is another thing I've been studying, which is fascinating as well. Nerves have a finite length, they don't stretch. So when they get stuck in the tissue, you're not going to turn your head very far if your brachial plexus nerves are being pinned down under your collarbone, for example. Right? We can free that up to allow you to turn a little further. Otherwise, you've got your neck tethered to your collarbone. Okay? Um, the sciatic nerve. If your sciatic nerve is stuck along the way, the sciatic nerve has to run parallel to the hamstring muscles. There's three hamstring muscles, and the sciatic nerve is, runs parallel to them. If it gets adhered to those muscles, you only get so far with these stretches that we do for our hamstring. And stretching, it's not gonna, not gonna improve that mobility, okay? I, I can tell you that myself, I struggle with this. So, um, so nerve mobilization, again, working with the fascia that's surrounding those nerves. And then in the next few years, I'm gonna be recertifying um, with uh, uh, Institute of Physical Art as a certified functional manual therapist, CFMT, uh, which I've been certified for 16 years. And I go, uh, go back and study with them, which I, um, uh, and looking forward to doing and this is uh, you know looking at the patient based on function we do all these functional tests uh, <clears throat> before and after the treatment so we can see the results uh, very soon after the treatment uh, right after we get you off the table we can see changes and improvements uh, based on the manual technique techniques that we do so I'm excited to share this work and I think this unique combination of uh, therapies and, and approaches that I'm bringing in uh, with each patient and um, it's been really fun and I look forward to uh, to working with anybody out there who needs help. So uh, you guys uh, stay well and have a, a great beginning of the new year. Uh, let's, let's have a great 2021. Take care.